Who quits the gym to take drugs professionally? You are as stupid as people come. Do you understand, Pudgy? There's no resistance in you. Yes. Sitting around with your contract to talk all day in your penthouse, even though you said the words, you're too stupid to even fully comprehend the sentence you're coming out your mouth. During their viral emergency meeting, Andrew Tate hilariously went off on Aiden Ross. All from Aiden not writing to Andrew while he was in jail, to Aiden's weight gain, his lean addiction, and the degenerate behavior he's had since Andrew was in jail. And here are the best and funniest moments from that stream. Why yep. didn't you write to me when I was in jail? And why did you out when the enemies of me and progress, agents of the Matrix, attacked you? I woke it's up every day waiting for your letter. You know that inside my jail cell. No, you did. I woke up every day thinking Aiden's going to write to me. There's no way he's going to leave me here by myself with the cockroaches, not in solitary confinement. He's my friend. Sorry. Yo, Andrew, but I asked Luke. I said, Luke. The and the Andrew letter never came. I asked never Luke. came. Ever. Three months I was in that room. I didn't go out. I didn't have yard time, nothing. Three months in a room. I encourage you to go to your bathroom without your phone and sit in your bathroom for an hour. Without your phone, without a laptop, just sit in your bathroom for an hour. Try three months. Waiting for your letter that never came. Damn. I actually feel really bad, bro. Oh, God, I do. I mean, my feelings. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let me get this timeline right. I go to jail. You shave your head. Yes. And then you, you, you don't write to me, but you are defending me. Yes. And then you stop going gym. Stop going gym because I got addicted to liquid heroin, uh, known as promethazine codeine, which is lean. You cannot give up something constructive to do something stupid. Gotcha. Giving up, giving up the gym. Mm -hmm. To begin taking liquid heroin okay, well, is you probably put the most fucking stupid decision I have ever heard of anybody taking in their life. In fact, I'm going to state this now as a matter of fact in history for the internet. I think you hold the record for making the most stupid life choice I have, me personally, Top G, ever been witness to hearing. Ever. <laughs> Wait. Nobody ever? on earth, nobody has told me a more stupid decision. I decided to stop going to the gym so I could focus on consuming liquid heroin. You are an idiot, Aiden. I needed to hear explain that. I'm, I'm... Explain to me. You're go it's Monday morning. Okay. You're going to the gym, right? Yes. What happens on Tuesday when you change career path? Explain to me. What happens? I need to understand this now. You're going to the gym. You're getting in shape. You're looking better. And then you decide to become a drug addict. Please explain. I want to make sure this doesn't happen to me. So I need to understand how this terrible circumstance can befall a completely logical, intelligent, adult right. human. I'm done. I kicked the cup. I haven't sipped in a while. And I'm not going to sip. Don't smile. Listen, I don't want to make a joke out of it. You are a fucking idiot. You are a fucking dumbass. You are as stupid as people come. Who quits the gym to take drugs professionally? You are as stupid as people come. What do you do to make you proud of yourself? And what do you do to make others proud of you? What's a, tell me something in the last 48 hours you've done that's worthy of pride. You've slept, jerked off, talked shit on the internet, text some stupid hoes in Miami or wherever you are. Have you done anything else with your life? No. Talk to you. You have a massive audience, Aiden of children and people all around the world who look up to you and watch you every single day. You could be a genuine force for good in the world. And you're sitting here talking about fucking lean. Why? It's stupid. Imagine, I've imagine, the, shape, it imagine the shape you'd be in if you didn't quit. Imagine no, oh my God, I would look in. so good. I would look so fucking good. Oh would my you, God. Would you be proud of yourself? Yes. Yes. If so I didn't stop, stop, yes. Pride. And that's why all these, and you know what's funny? The funniest thing the most ironic thing about all of this is that if you don't prioritize happiness and you prioritize feeling proud of yourself, you end up happy by extension. I'm happy because I'm proud of myself because I have a fucking fantastic life and mansions and supercars and money. Most famous man in the world. Thousands of love letters a week from beautiful women. Rest street credit in every single fucking city on earth. I, of, of course I'm happy, but I didn't ever choose to try and be happy. If I would have chosen to try and be happy, I would have never ended up happy. Now, while Aiden Ross does not really seem to take pride in what he's doing, but instead is just doing things for money, he has also taken unpopular stances by promoting Andrew Tate and other people with similar mindsets as Andrew on his streams, and thus has faced backlash, not only from his friends, 
but he's even been deemed a brand risk and has likely limited his ability to earn money and limit the high profile guests he can have on his streams. So even though Aiden Ross wastes a lot of time on a lot of BS on his streams, he's at least taking a stand and bringing to light the truths of Andrew Tate and other unpopular truths that are in the world today. And if you want to learn more powerful truths from Andrew Tate about business and life, you can check out the real world through the link in the description. If you didn't take drugs and you worked your ass off in the gym, of course, I'll always be able to destroy you for the rest of your life because there's echelons in life and I'm a predator and you're not. That's fine. But I'd still respect you. If you tried your very best to become the best version of yourself you could, I'd still respect you. I'm a lion. I'm not a lion. You're a rabbit. But if you became the strongest rabbit you could possibly be, I'd still respect you. I'd be like, oh, that's a rabbit. Yeah, but at least he's trying. Of course, I'll always fucking rip you apart. But that's not what it's about. It's about the fact that you're doing the absolute best you can with the very feeble body God gave you. If I went 365 in a boxing gym, best shape my life, learn how to fight like I'm Floyd Mayweather or, you know, um, Israel Adesanya. I'm knocking you the fuck out, bro. Do you understand? I know you did kickboxing. I know you did. But to say that hard work doesn't be talent when talent fails to work hard. You come on, bro. Work hard? I'm not saying that. But what if I'm working. What are you even talking about? I'm, what are you even talking about? When you just said no sense. When you if just I, said that makes no sense. It's a logic fail. Andrew, you hard and I would work hard and I would if, destroy you. If I'm working harder than you, boxing and getting in the gym and really learning now how to Talk about the fantasy of Aiden Ross working harder than me. Is this in between your drug episodes? It's on your time off? Shut no. up. It's small things, like just like even like grip strength. You, my, I could crush your neck. With, I could just get hold of any part of your body and just squash it. Do you understand, Pudgy? There's no resistance in you. Yeah, you're I not going to get hold of you. Whatever I get hold of, I would just fucking decimate. Hey. Okay. With with your grip okay. strength, my knuckle listen. is bigger than your fucking brain. All right, listen I would smash me. you to fuck. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Hey, bald prisoner, who dropped the fucking soap? Listen to me. I'm not pudgy. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not pudgy anymore. I'm not pudgy anymore. I'm not. Okay. You know why I'm I not. laughed and you said bald prisoner? Because I think many levels deeper than you at a, at a speed which you can't possibly fathom. Oh, I, I laughed because so I you like the joke. So when you said bald prisoner. And I laughed. You thought I laughed at the fact you called me a bald prisoner. No, yeah. because I think much deeper than you. Well, I, I, laughed, I laughed at the fact that you, while debating with me about the fact that I couldn't destroy you, decided to call me a bald prisoner. Telling a, calling someone a bald prisoner is basically saying you're going to beat the fuck out of me. Do you want to fight a bald prisoner? Uh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't say that. Why did you call me one? You just because admitted you're going to lose. That's why I laughed. I laughed Wait. because I thought three levels deeper than you, even though you've said the words. You're too stupid to even fucking fully comprehend the sentence you're coming out your mouth. No. I heard you call me a bald prisoner. I thought, yes, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. You don't stand a chance, Aiden. And I can't wait for it to happen. I don't fight fair. Let me tell you what I do. If I'm in a street fight, no, you're laughing. When have you ever been in a street fight? Don't even fucking lie to the chat. What have you ever been in, sitting around with your bullshit contract to talk shit all day in your fucking penthouse? Since when have you been in a street fight? What have you ever been fucking, you didn't even grow up like I grew up. You didn't even, you never had a fight in your life. What are you even talking about? Street fight. You are talking the biggest crock of shit you perhaps ever spoken. You've never had a street fight. Who the fuck are you talking to? Well, you know, I've what seen a lot. Street no, what street fight? Tell us the story of your street fight. Tell me the guy you knocked out. Where was it? What happened, bro? Tell me, bro. Come on, bro. So Aiden is walking down the street. Aiden Ross is walking down the street. It, his girls, it, his girls with him, both sides. Someone comes up and says to his girls, you're ugly. He says, hey, hey, bro. I may look like a pudgy loser. I may be high on heroin that I've been okay. drinking, but you don't want to mess with me. This huge dude, this big, bald prisoner. You don't want to mess with me. And the girl says, Aiden, don't do it. He underestimates you. Uh, am, I, am I right so far? Yeah. And he tried to hit you and you like slipped it because you're so fast, like a cat. Then you knocked him clean out, didn't you? South yes. Side Chicago. Yes. 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 You're, you're an idiot. Um, Excuse me? I'm not an idiot. Okay. Tell me your street fight story. Come on.
Hey, I've obviously I've, I've never been in a fight before, obviously, in my life. You ever. just said if I'm in a street fight, tell me what happens. You just I, told me what happens in street fights. Tell me about your street fights. I want to know now. I thought I knew all about okay, violence. Oh, no, 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 I did. I did I all about no, violence. I, I, actually, no, 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 I listen. Fought everywhere. I can professional fights. No, no, listen. No, listen, 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 listen. I thought I knew about violence. Please, listen. please educate me, Aiden. Aiden Ross should never compare himself to Andrew Tate when it comes to fighting. He shouldn't even talk about fighting, he shouldn't talk about punches, anything like that. Because after the videos we've been seeing of Andrew training, after he's gotten out of jail and he's been on house arrest, Aiden should not want to mess with him at all. Because if Andrew can destroy Aiden with his hands, as much as he did with his words in this video, it will not be a good day for Aiden Ross. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing or watch this video right here. And if you want to learn more from Andrew Tate and support him, you can check out the real world through the link in the description.